What is going on everyone? For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom emails using command. So if you have an email that you want to send out for a new listing, for a you know upcoming listing, an exclusive, a broker open, anything like that, these email templates are the perfect thing to use. So we're going to go into designs in your command. <clears throat> And once you're in designs, you're then gonna go to the plus button down here. You, well, you can't see it with my logo there, but it's behind the logo on the bottom right, right hand side. You'll find the plus button. And that brings up this create design buttons here. And in here, you're gonna hit email. And then now you will see all of the templates provided to you from KWRI. So you can see here, we'll just load all the templates. So there's currently 72 templates that are available and these cover everything from uh, just listed for sale, open house, classic open house, classic basic, just listed, buyer lead conversion touch, so there's <clears throat> quite a few different types of templates that are available right now. You even have Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Valentine's Day, request for referral. So for this, we're going to use, let's see, let's do, we'll do an open house email. So we're going to click on the template. We're going to hit next. It's at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. <clears throat> And you'll see this is the template that comes up. Don't pay any attention to the um, coding here, if you want to call it. Just to see what it's going to look like before you edit anything, you can hit preview up here under options. And this will show you what it will look like when it goes out. It's very simple, but it's very clean. And you can view it in tablet mode or on a smartphone. So you can get an idea of what it's going to look like on different devices. Now, editing it is real simple. The text, you can edit like you always would. Just click on the text, hit this little pencil. And then on the right-hand side, you're going to see a text box, and you can edit it. You can center it. So for this, we could put, we'll make this bigger. We'll make it 26. Make it bold. Maybe underline it, and then center it. And that didn't take... Let me see here. <clears throat> Let's try and make it bigger again. There we go. And we can bold it. It's still a little small. So let's go even bigger here. Let's go. Why don't we try 40? And we'll bold. It's still bold. <clears throat> we'll just highlight it first so it goes. There we go. Let's underline it as well. There you go. Now we have open house. And you can edit the text however you want, obviously. Edit this text as well. So let's say this is going to be on April 29th. Let's say April 29th. Hit done. There's Sunday, April 29th. And if you want to change up the color, you can do that as well. <clears throat> make it white like it was so it pops and then down here you can change up the text as well real real quick and easy now the photos those are you can actually pull the photos directly from a listing so you would just click on the photo click on the pencil and then go to replace and then you'll see the option here for your own images listing images and you can actually add images on your own like you would do for anything else now, listing images you have here. So I'm going to just find an, a listing in here that already has po has photos. Let's see what we got here. We'll just use this one in Florida. Got 10 photos. So we'll make this the main photo here. Click on that. You have the option to actually link photos too. So if you had a photo, you could embed a link into the photo through a, to a landing page or to a web address. 
you can change the width and the height. You can play around with all that, center it, you make it left on the right. So when you're ready, you hit done. And then down here, you can do another photo. So we'll go back in here, hit replace, go to listing images. And where was that listing? Shoot, did I lose it? There it is. I think that was it. That's not the same same listing, but basically what you would do is search for your own property address here and get your own, obviously get your photos off your, your listing. So we're just gonna grab a couple of new photos here just, just to show you guys how it looks. And we'll grab another photo to drop on here. And we're gonna go to listing images. Was that it? Was this it? No, this was it. This was the one. And we'll just drop this photo on there as well. And hit done. Each time you're gonna hit done up here when you get a photo you want. And then down here, you're gonna just drop in your text. And then for, view, for the buttons, you're gonna click on the button, hit the pencil again. Now this is, you can actually edit the text on the button. So you could view listing, you could, you could put, check out my site, anything you wanna put for this button text. You're gonna go ahead and decide where, where you wanna link it to. So what I would do for your emails that, for your listings, I would create a landing page in command and then go here to where it says landing page, choose from the landing page that you create in here, and then that will link. So when somebody gets the email and they click on this, it's gonna take them to your landing page. So for this, I'm just going to link it to, I'm just going to type in Google just because. So we got that and we're going to hit done. Oh, you got to do the HTTP. There we go. And you can also change the background color of the button as well. So you want to make it red, you could do that. Hit done. Now that we got that. Down here, there's all your info. This will all pull directly from your uh, marketing profiling command. And then in here, you're gonna wanna put download my app. And just to show you how that works, we'll go into command real quick. And I'm gonna show you how to get your app link in case, you're, in case you forgot how to get that. You're gonna go to the consumer tab at the bottom down here. And then you're gonna go over here to site and app settings. And then you're gonna to go to URLs. And this is your app link, you copy that. And once you copy that, you're gonna to go to, again, you're gonna click on this button here, click on the pencil. That's gonna bring up the, all the text and all the information for that button. You're gonna hit web address. Then you're gonna put your app link in there and then you're gonna simply hit done. So now whenever somebody clicks on this, it's if they're on their smartphone or their tablet, it's automatically going to take them to the App Store to download your KW app. And now we can see in the preview here what it'll look like when it's ready to go. So you'll see open house, the date. You'll input all this information. You've got your photos, some text. The view listing will take you to the landing page. Download my app will take, you to download, will take your client to download your app. And that's a basic email in KW command. And then to send out the email, you're going to head over here to campaigns. You're going to click create a new campaign. You're going to go to email. You're going to create a campaign name. So for this, I would just use the address for the listing you're promoting or however you whatever you want to title it as for whatever you want to title it as so it's your own personal reference so you can remember what this e particular email campaign was for you could say one two three main street you're going to say you could say advertise listing you're always going to use command email here and you're going to hit setup campaign and then on the left hand side you're going to you're going to decide the recipient list you're going to hit create list 
Now, this is what's really cool. You can actually, as long as you have your contacts in, com in command tagged, you can decide who you want to send it to by tag. So you could say, if I want to send this to all my buyers, I'm going to click buyer tag, and then I'm going to select all those buyer contacts, and then that would be how you create the list to send it to particular contacts in your command. And then this will always be here as far as sender and send reply to. When the email goes out, it goes out masked, so they're not going to see your actual email address, but if they respond to it, the response to your email is going to be forwarded to this address right here. So you'll get responses if people actually decide to respond to your email. The subject would be, uh, come to my open house, or whatever you want to put it as. Now you're going to input your design that you created into the email here. So this was the design we just did. You can take a look at it again just to make sure it's right. I always urge everybody to send out a test email beforehand. You can do that under options here, send test email, send it to wherever you want. So we'll send it to my email here so you can see what it looks like. So the email is sent successfully. And in the meantime, you can peruse this and make sure it meets your standards and you, there's no spelling errors and everything is up to, up to par. And when you're ready to go, you're gonna hit save and exit. And again, you have the option here to send another test email, preview and test. You can save it as a draft. You can schedule it to go out at a particular time if you don't want it to go out right away. And when you're ready to go, you just simply hit send and your email will he be on, heading on out. So now we're gonna go to my email here. And hopefully it came through already. Yep, there it is. So now you'll see what the email looks like when it goes out. If somebody clicks on this, it'll take them to the, the link we embedded. I just embedded Google because I didn't, there was nothing else. So it's just gonna go to Google. But you can embed whatever link you want or landing page and download my app. It's gonna go to the web page about my Keller Williams app. And again, if your client is on a smartphone or a tablet, it's gonna take them to the app store. And that would be your email for an open house. So if you guys have any questions on how to create emails using command, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to walk you guys through how to get your email campaigns going in KW Command. Thank you guys for watching.